Welcome to the Daily Brigandi. Today we have a really cool Chicago Bulls 1996 team signed basketball. Of course, another championship with Michael Jordan dynasty. And as a local Knicks fan, this killed me uh, growing up. I mean, I loved the Knicks, but I also love Michael Jordan. But he always stood in the way of our Knicks winning. So we have a team signed basketball here. Because is going to tell you a little bit more about it and who signed it. Definitely, guys. So uh, 11 signatures in all. Um, obviously, Michael Jordan, the big one, if you get him close. You'll see it right away, you know, on a baseball, team signed baseballs, right? You reserve the sweet spot for the best player on the team, maybe the manager. On a basketball, I call this the sweet spot, and of course, MJ gets a sweet spot, basically his own panel. Um, above him, of course, fellow Hall of Famer, Scottie Pippen. Um, who else we got? Another Hall of Famer right there in Dennis Rodman, and then a bunch of other guys that were on the team. Uh, Tony Kukoc, Steve Kerr is on here. I'll find him for you. Future Hall of Famer, Steve Kerr currently coaching the Golden State Warriors. Um, so just a great piece. You know, as Chris was saying, you know, those Bulls teams were absolutely dominant, winning six championships in the decade, um, 91, 92, 93, and then 96, 97, and 98, um, this being 96. Um, so greatest team ever, you know, in the, or greatest dynasty ever, those Bulls teams led by Jordan. Turn it back around so you can see the signature. Um, it was pretty cool. I don't know if you saw this, uh, CB, but uh, Dennis Robin and Scottie Pippen were recently on ESPN doing an interview, and they asked if they had stuck together after the 98 championship, could they have won a few more? They both easily thought they could have won one <laughs> or two. Yeah. Um, and also that the year after, you know, they broke up was a short lockout season, 50-game season, and they were both also very confident that they would have been 50 and up. So this team won six championships in the decade. They think they could have done more if they had won. Um, it makes them so great. Jordan memorabilia is always good, even though he's a modern guy and signed a lot. Right. You know, we're always looking for it. It's always, you know, high yeah. value, but it's worth it because he's the GOAT. Of course, yeah. And, of course, this, it's authenticated as well. And then uh, we have a little Providence here, too, if you want to tell them about the Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, the, the ball came out of a, a Bulls charity from the time. So we actually have a letter from the team. If you zoom in, you can see it real quick. Um, so, obviously, we did get third-party authentication. Um, it has a PSA DNA full letter of authenticity. As well, yeah. But, you know, just further back up, further Providence, we have this letter from the Bulls. Um, so it's, you know, it's ironclad, it's 100% legit, and, you know, not a lot of these types of items um, actually, you know, are out there. They didn't sign a lot of team signed basketballs. Yeah, so. that's another thing, like, especially we're talking about baseballs before, team signed baseballs, I mean, every year dozens and dozens and dozens, hundreds of baseballs are signed by teams. Not the case with basketballs. Um, one, probably because they're a lot more expensive, and two, because they're so big, they take up so much space. Um, but so stuff like this, I mean, they're, they're out there, but there's not a lot, and they're rare. Yeah, they're, they're really tough. This is the first we've owned in a long time. Yeah, so uh, just an awesome piece from one of the greatest basketball teams, if not the greatest of all time, of course, with MJ. Thanks for watching The Daily Brigandi. We'll see you tomorrow.